good evening and welcome back to where nothing's happened. And that's Jacques Mary, if you believe that. I just know, remembered something. I was just looking at this. 200 days to go to Par the opening ceremonies of the Paris Olympics. 200. Could be lots of qualifications. There's going to be lots of athletes claiming spots. There's going to be lots of team qualifications. And there's some soccer and basketball and whatever else. Then it'll be for at least team, team announcements for, athlete, for which athletes will be going to the Olympics later in the summer as we get closer. It'll be interesting to see how many Canada, how many athletes Canada is going to send. I'm going to guess 350. There's my guess. Now that also depends. That will depend how many more, how many more spots they end up taking in these qualifications or quota spots. Yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, we got a quota spot. I want to know who's going. That way, I show him some love. And I get a mention. It's like, yeah, hey, yeah, I know those guys. Now we just had two of the two NHL games finished, and there's two left. And the two that just finished: Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia four to one, and Vancouver beat the Rangers six to three. Dallas and Minnesota is on now, as is Boston, Colorado. Ooh, the current inhabitants of Minnesota, the Wild, versus the former inhabitants of Minnesota, the Stars. Now, at work yesterday, I seen some. I'm pretty sure I seen some of you in the North Stars jersey, except he kind of turned turned the opposite way I was facing. So I only got to see the back of his jersey. A jersey that had Madano on the back. I'm hoping. I'm thinking it was a North. I wasn't too sure if it was a North Stars jersey or not. Could have been a Raiders jersey because he did play in Prince Albert. I don't even know if him and Dave Manson were teammates. Dave Manson and Dan Hodgson were definitely teammates because I'm pretty sure they were on the 85 Memorial Cup team that won. So, yeah. So, there you go. It was a little while ago, almost an hour ago, the Southwest Chiefs number three rolled through a snowy La Plata, Missouri. And it is actually snowing. It's snowing pretty good enough that the East Camera is frozen over. Kate the Nice, yet the West Cam, yeah, you can see. As well as the PTZ Cam that's at the look of the few hundred yards away. Yeah, I think that lookout is uh, at about a few hundred yards to the east. I'm, I'm not sure the exact distance is not. It's not even a mile. You got the if you're going east, you got the La Plata station. You got the lookout, then you got the Brown Street Bridge. I think it's the Brown Street Bridge. So yeah, there you go. Now, now I'll be going to the Prince. I already mentioned that I'm going to the Raiders game tomorrow night against the Vancouver Giants. They've been beat Raiders. Been having the ads about the game tomorrow, and the mentioned the last time the Giants were here was 2019. It was a pandemic month up the 2020, 1920 season and then the 2021 season. There's like a basically 24 game exhibition just within your own division. Not sure how they did the 21-22 season.
I'm not, I can't remember how they... I don't think they went to... I don't think any of the BC teams came over. I don't think we went a west either. So last season was the first time they were to go to travel to BC and then this year travel to the US. I'll have to look that up. So the last time the Vancouver Giants were here was the 2019 Western Hockey League Championship Series, in which the Praetors, Prince Albert Raiders won in seven games in overtime. I remember that night I was working at Rikers. I just literally been there like for like two months. Kind of took a peek. That was the dishwasher. I kind of, kind of took a peek at the front and the last one of the services. I was, looking, I was like, Jesus Christ, it's quiet. I was talking to one of the services. Jeez. I was wondering, geez, were the Raiders lose or are they just out celebrating before coming? It's like, they mentioned could be an overtime too. Like, you know that's a possibility. Turns out it was an overtime, so Yeah. And there's that. Eight is at eight is not over yet, so <laughs> another five minutes. We're talking about New Year's resolutions for the that topic of the eighties show this evening. Well, she wasn't around last week. So there you go. So now that she's back, said, yeah, let's cover this story. Let's cover this. And as you kind of mentioned before Christmas, when, for the following week after boxing, I was like, yeah, you should, you should definitely do the New Year's Eve of the 80s. And she said, oh, I'm just going to be there 20, oh, no, no, 27. Like, oh, fuck, there goes that idea. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, that's, I'm in one of those moments where I could just go forever, but I'm going to have to stop right now. So, in the meantime, in the in-between time, stay tuned for the next one.